Right guys, welcome back. This is the second part of the flight we did on this lovely Caribbean Airlines Boeing 737 to Cartagena. Can you see in the distance? Sorry to uh, St Martins. For the world's dangerous, uh, one of the world's dangerous approaches, we're doing it in the NGX uh, 800. Lovely plane. Beautiful clear skies and scenery. <coughs> Today we just had a weather update, we've got uh, winds coming in from 80 degrees at 10 knots variable between 50 and 110 degrees so you know landing on runway 10 which is uh, ideal actually with the conditions a few clouds at 1800 feet and temperature is 28 degrees dew point 21 Q and H is 1017 helipascals and uh, no speed restrictions going in so we decided to go on a uh, I put the VOR in just in case it picks it up. 1.13.0 on both sides. We've gone also break to one uh, because uh, when I do the approach brief, that'll make sense. Um, and we're now on a nav descent and we're on profile. So we're coming in on the star. Well, it's actually a fault star because we're coming in from Colombia on the Alubia 1 Alpha. We're actually going direct on the trans to Manolo, and that is on the uh, same trans as if you come from the UK. We're going to RNAV approach for a runway 110. So the approach brief it is we we hit Manolo at 2,600 feet or there thereabouts. The aircraft will slow then to 220 knots uh, at Okmot, um, about 10 miles from Okmot, which is uh, our next waypoint on the 259 degree uh, heading. We're going to reduce to flaps 15. Uh, speed match on V ref, and we're going to go gear down. We're going to then take a left turn of 185 degrees directly facing south to Avaki. And at Avaki, we want to be fully configured, so that's we we'll go in uh, to our approach reference speed and flaps 30. So, our approach reference speed today, just bring that up. So, we're going to go flaps 30, 146, add 5. 151 will be our flaps 30 speed. So that is our approach reference there. So fully configured at 151 out of Aki. Still at 2600 feet. Uh, we will then descend at Avaki to 1700 feet to Lesser. And at Lesser is our 3 degree glide down to the uh, runways at 12 feet and the displaced threshold of 50 feet. Minimums is 700 feet um, on this stretch. If I don't feel we can make the landing or can't see the runway, but visibility isn't great. Then we'll follow the missed approach procedure. And the missed approach procedure today is climbing right turn to 4,000 feet direct to onboard and hold. And that is all programmed in the FMC. So carrying on then from lesser down on the three degree glide should be around seven to eight hundred feet per minute we'll do the math when we stabilize uh, we'll set them we'll set the minimums altitude of 700 feet from lesser um, if everything's good with the aircraft and I can see the runway and there's no reason why we can't land then I shall take control of the aircraft and fly in manually um, on successful landing in to uh, St. Martin's Princess Juliana. The reason why I've gone for auto break one is when we land on runway 110, I don't think we're going to be stopped by Charlie exit. You can't exit on Bravo, Delta, Echo or Foxtrot. Runway is 7,546 feet, which is 2,300 meters. So uh, we'll roll with auto break one, idle reverse, all the way down the runway and turn round and we'll backtrack runway 28 and exit then on the right. Charlie. We're hoping to uh, get stand Alpha 3, although that's not confirmed yet. We'll get that uh, confirmed during the last part of, of the descent. So that is the approach briefings. Any questions? Well, I'm talking to my computer as first officer, so... Uh, oh, trans level is 6,500 feet, so I made a mistake there. I've got 5,000 in. Now I just want to go back to our descent, go to our forecast, change that to 6500. There we go. Doesn't matter because we haven't really hit it yet. 146, uh, we'll go flaps 30 landed. Yeah. See, we are then we descend here. Crystal blue waters, 
the Caribbean Sea to St. Martins. Our auto brake one. Our approach reference is set. VOR set if we if we pick it up just for DME really, just so we can see the distance. Not that it's that important because if, if I wanted to I could just create a fix on the runway. Which I, I might do anyway. Now the weather's injecting. Okay, so I could go to my legs. I'll go to the runway here. Yeah. Runway 10. I'll then go into the fix page, placing the fix. And we want to be uh, just a distance there of, uh, I like to be 7 miles. So that's what I like to do. So that's on my side. You see now I'll put that 7 mile, mile fix into the uh, FOC. That's actually hitting out by lesser, so yeah, that's where you need to be fully configured, which is uh, about right there. So, over for 20,000. Nothing to do, really. Auto brake is set, gear is up, flaps are retracting, speed brake is not required yet, and so not harmony yet. Approach reference is in, VOR frequency 4. Princess Juliana, one one three decimal zero is in. Well, not apparent on the R nav anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and put the start switch to continuous. Uh, Traffic outs is is good as should be. I'm just trying to. There we go. The kind of trick you see, the runway is, is is here actually. The runway is probably now from uh, our, if you like, from our position. It's going to be roughly over here. We we'll fly slightly above it, and then a slight right turn at 20 track, or 30 track miles, um, and then coming down the Manolo uh, transition. The speed brakes there. Just gonna help that. Speed's just creeping a little bit. I want to do is try to bring that back to 260. I don't want to go too high. I don't want to be 2600 too early. Um, it's just literally I'm just bringing this back down. So doing a hard approaches, I mean we've done the Gibraltar approach, we've done the Innisbrook approach, we've done the Greenland approach, Nasarasak, as I'm told it's it's pronounced, and now this is St. Martins. Now on the order of, of the hardest approaches, actually um, the, the source I've got puts uh, St. Martins at 8, and this is because the beach beach level I think, and the, and the danger of, of a really low um, approach. Then at seven is Gibraltar, at six is in his brook, and five is the one we did at Greenland, and then four. In the top four we've got Nepal, which is the uh, Kathmandu approach. Three, Madeira. Two, Honduras. And at number one is the approach Paro at Bhutan. And we'll be attempting them all during this series, so we will uh, be attempting no problem. Address the range there, make sure the heading is correct just in case. Oh, idle. Okay, I'm just going to put them speed brakes back now. Put them to the arm position, which they are. Now I don't know what the scenery is going to be like when we land at St. Mines. I did install some um, photo scenery. I don't know if I did it right. Probably not. Because um, I'm not a master at uh, installing photo scenery for 
P3D V4.5 uh, if, if it was my old FSX Steam not a problem but uh, I don't know if it, if it would work so I'm hoping there's some nice scenery going in I've also placed in a, an update to the original airport so I'm hoping we uh, see that as well Put the clouds are there the airport is just off into a distance that way um, I got asked the other day well what uh, textures to use I use Rect4 textures and I use a weather engine and the weather engine I use is FSX WX actually um, it does the right job, the weather's always accurate and, and the clouds through Rex4 make it pretty good. So uh, and if you didn't have uh, if I didn't have Rex4 textures I've also got Orbex, but uh, I prefer the Rex4 textures. So we use the volumetric fog as well version of the um, weather engine. I get about 40 frames per second, I'm on a mid-level gaming PC so not very really hardcore, so let me just see if I can bring that up now. There you are, so that's bouncing around, but yeah, you know, that comes up to about 40 frames per, per second on average. Because well, I'm recording, that's probably dropped a little bit. They are 30s, so mid level, but it's, it's all good. So just to let you know what frames I'm getting. A bit bumpy coming in. 102, 15 knot, just across our nose. Uh, I don't know. Real warnings, that's nice. Yeah, a little bit bumpy coming in. Sea belts are on anyway, so not too concerned. As soon as we make the turn at Manolo, we're going to go flaps one, so. And then, uh, about, like I said, about 10 15 miles away from from um, Okmot. I think that's how you pronounce it, Okmot. Oscar Tango, Mike Oscar Tango. We will configure for flaps 15 gear down. And the reason why I do that is because, uh, obviously, your final configuration uh, is point lesser. Lima, Echo, Sierra, Oscar, Romeo and because we'll probably be turning at all lesser so we've got up mark then we've got six miles to turn to Avaki and then we turn we do a left turn of 185 and then, a, uh, and then another left turn of 95 degrees to lesser but just make sure we're fully configured actually before that final left turn it helps the aircraft stabilise so got to 10,000 now so the aircraft's going to slow up we're going to be putting our landing lights on so for now we can put our fixed lights on we could go ahead and turn all them lights on as well. So we're still on glide, which is good. I'm looking at this particular dot here. We're on a vertical profile. That's where we want to stay. Test we've got no problems with the FMC or the autopilot or the throttle warnings. No, nope. if it's good my side. Always check these during your approaches in case a bulb's gone. So you have an auto throttle, auto disengage. You know, if I just do that again, you get caution with one. Autopilot auto throttles that one, and then if they come off, you'll also get your two. If you've got an FMC warning, you obviously get that. The other one at the end that changed that didn't change okay we're slightly off our profile now so what we're going to do is just give that a helping hand put out some speed brakes let's get back onto vertical profile then the vertical profile's coming up here as soon as that's come here we'll uh, stow the speed brakes Happy with that, it's coming up.
just changing our heading just to match where we're going to I'd be interested to do this uh, approach also in my Falcon 7X uh, we've got the Wilco Dissault Falcon it's a French made uh, private jet I did have some problems with the, the frame rates with it um, but I was at so I have changed a few things on the sim so I'm going to look back into that and see see how that, that is now and if it's flying well because I really do like it uh, that'll be really good to go to places like Brazil, Miami, uh, to St. Martins and the other smaller islands, you know. Um, just so you don't have to, to do over Atlantic flights, you know. Um, I like to do Atlantic flights, yep. I'm just going to check the quickly Q&H, you might lose a bit of sound. So there we are, so 78 knots, 50 variable 110, good visibility, scatter clouds 1,800, 28 degrees 1,018, or 1,018 header pascals. So, uh, go ahead and put that on now. And that has to change to header pascals. Obviously leaving Cartanega was in uh, the Imperial um, measurements, so header pascals, drag required. No problem, let's put a bit of drag. Thank you very much. Don't know, we're on V path, so I'm going to take the drag back off. Drag required. Okay. Let's go straight out with the brakes there. Okay, because uh, we're only 14 miles out. I wanted to descend that a little bit earlier, but I couldn't. Um, this turn here we're doing is going to, it's going to put us on about 259 degree track. Flaps up speed there, 210. I want to reduce that speed anyway, so I can speed intervene. Let's go flaps up. Stick around a bit. A little bit bumpy. The speed brakes aren't that great on the air. Uh, That's okay, we're slightly off, it's fine. We'll keep the... It's like we're fighting it. We've still got, it's okay. We've still got a little while till we make that turn. We'll get back onto the profile and then we'll stove speed brakes again. We're gonna... around here coming back onto V profile vertical that means sorry vertical path as soon as that's done uh, I'm going to actually give you the reference I'll take back the legs Right turn, we're going to have a 259 degree right turn. There we are, we're back on profile, so I'm going to once again stow the brakes. Roger, 1000 to go. Our next altitude after that obviously is going to be lesser at 1700 feet. But we won't be um, conducting that turn um, until. That's okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go back out, zoom out a little bit. 
Uh, right turn now at 259 degrees. I'm going to get that heading ready. At 2.59 it is on the chart. That's how I know the heading. So I'm just getting that ready. Worst case scenario then if I lose uh, autopilot I can turn the aircraft myself to that heading. Now we're at Malomo. Uh, I'm quite happy with the Radio altimeter. Yeah, 2500 radio altimeter heard. See here, this is the uh, runway. And this uh, for your, sorry, this is the alignment for your lateral navigation and your vertical navigation. If you're using ILS, you'll have a bug. Uh, a series of, of landing system comes comes down and around here. But this is a full on uh, manual landing. So actually, the airport will be to the left of us. Zoom out of it so you can see. So there's St. Martin's there. It will be coming in on, on the runway. So we'll be coming down here, left turn, and in, into the runway. So, well, that's the plan anyway. See how close I was to 259. Okay, we're on the iron of transition now. Oh, it's 32. Well, actually, we've got 26.2 miles left. Of that 32.2 mile track of 259 to Otmot. Obviously, we're just slightly off our, our lateral profile, so you know that will go out. So if we could zoom out here, this is uh, St. Martin's Island. So if we zoom out, uh, obviously, the runway is here. This is the, the actual runway, so we come across the island. Then we take a left, another left, and down. Oh, we got rain. <laughs> well, that wasn't on there. I just said it's update. Let's have a quick check. And no rain. It just says scattered uh, clouds. One thousand eight hundred. That's okay. We like a bit of rain. Uh, that might change the the landing a little bit. Uh, could probably go a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and select flaps what? I'm going to speed match now accordingly. Bring the aircraft. Water flaps is coming down to flaps what? I'm just going to put flaps two. that coming out. Once I know I'm out of the danger then we can go flaps 5. As soon as I'm out of the stall danger I'm just doing it gradually so we don't overwork the uh, auto computer. Now from flaps 5 we're what 5 1 on the approach. Let me just check if that's got it's actually 150 so let's uh, take that and uh, Ward 50, uh, I'll put that in now. Uh, flaps 5, flaps 15, that's flaps 10, so flaps 15. There are so about 160, which is where I want it to be. Get that down. Well, there won't be many uh, people on the beach today as we, we fly overhead. 
so I want it to be configured for Otmos. About, I said, between uh, 15 to 10 miles, not bad. Gear down. Cabin crew seats for landing. Start up the APU as well. More approach. A little bit choppy. See there, did I move too fast but the wrong way? No how center mount is. My next altitude is gonna be about seven hundred. I'm obviously not gonna activate that just yet. I'm gonna do a fly little change for that. I haven't asked it to, to change the altitude, so it's staying where, where it is for now. So before we make the turn at Altmont, we're going to uh, go flaps 30. And that buzzing you can hear is just uh, the altimeter saying it's a thousand feet off what I wanted. Yes, I know it is. This, this turn is a 185 degree, so I'll get that ready when we get a little bit closer to our knot. Matching the throttles there, just keep them matched. So nose is down, mains down, so 3 green, flaps 15. So go ahead then and uh, flaps 25. Should be the same reference. Flaps 30. Give that a little bit of help. Talking about them, we are on the speed brakes. Oh, this horrible weather. Right, it's boiling it hot in Cartagena. We left blue skies, Colombia. A lovely place if you ever want to fancy go and visit. Absolutely beautiful place. Saint Helens Continental Hotel is nice. Okay, so we're just about to do the turn. It's going to be a turn of 185 degrees. So I'm going to start turning there in a minute. We're fully configured where we wanted to be before lesser, so I'm happy with that. I 
don't need to desalt because I'm already configured for London. And that's the key for any um, the, the, the uh, hard or challenging uh, approaches that you, you do, you know. Uh, if you're configured early, and all you've got to concentrate on is flying the plane uh, down. So we're going to go for that 185 degree, which it should be. It's a little bit off, but it doesn't really matter. Bang on now, so it's about six miles, I think, to yeah, about five miles there to uh, Vaki. We can put that in now. We're on profile, it's climbing again because I haven't asked it to descend. I will do that when we get to a Vaki with a flight level change. And the reason I'm going to do that is so I can get it down to 1700 because then we're going to get to minimums which we set 700 for and we're going to hit make on our minimum altitude and that's a decision we call it minimum uh, altitude height or decision altitude height or M minimum decision altitude height and that is where we decide okay can we land going on safely um, or do we have to go think about going around or do some else so I want 150 so it's looking like I'm not needing 800 feet per minute to keep a 3 degree glide so I take that 16, 161 I divide that by 2 which gives me 8 that gives me 8, add on a 0 so 800 feet per minute will give me a 3 degree glide down to the runway so I have faith in the math and that's what we're going to do yeah, horrible weather Battered there, tower. Imagine you've saved up all your money, you come away and you get battered by rain, you could have had that in the UK. Well, it's lucky we come from the UK anyway. So we've got this last turn then, uh, so I'm now going to do a flight level change, and this last turn is 95 degrees. So before that, uh, and then our last actually, uh, the last one is 96 degrees from the last to Mape onto the runway. Oof. So we're at 98 degrees 9 knots, and we was forecasted 70 by 9 knots for variable. 50 to, uh, let's just see where it goes now. Checking. Still no uh, rain forecast on the weather, although it obviously is raining. So there we go. It's now at 1700, altitude is hold. I'm now going to go to 700 feet. This is why this altitude hold is coming. We're off VNAV now. I think I can just make out the wrong way, just in the distance there. This part, don't look at the other chart. I've got three, five, five miles from well, Mr. Minimum altitude is two miles from runway, so uh, lesser coming up. We're going to go down. We're only going to go down at uh, three degree glide, so I need 800 feet per minute. We've got ground speed now of 150 to 700. 50 feet per minute. There's a runway right ahead. Let's see if we get this right. We don't want to start descending before map on. We will go down at 800.
matching the throttles, that's very important. Runway's in sight, so I can continue. Check 1000 Approaching minimums Continue Minimums Continue So we are landed. I'm just going to idle reverse, let the auto brake do its job. Got to go right to the end of the uh, runway. Happy landing in uh, a little bit of brakes coming down. to turn around here, this is the end of uh, runway 28. Once the brakes come off, ground spoilers have retracted, APU is on. Okay, we can safely turn around the aircraft. Mission could go off. APU bleeds on. So that's going to come off. Leave the, got to leave the landing lights on just a little bit. Just let me know the bleeds on. There we are, coming into uh, St Martins. Another dangerous approach. It's done. Did I take the flight direct off that side? No, I'll never. I just want to put a little bit of throttle on now so we can clear this runway. Let's bring the flaps up. There we go. Lovely rainy day at uh, St Martin's. We're going to come off at Charlie, so let's get the uh, taxi uh, charts out. Airport information, there we are. So Charlie should be the one, two, three, fourth on the right. Oh. Just uh, knock that back down. This first one should be Foxtrot, we're not coming into Foxtrot. Lovely, beautiful St. Martin's up, oh, there's a nice little cruise ship there. I've well, seen it in as bad as I thought it would be. But this little one's for like helicopters or it's a small prop plane. This should be Foxtrot. I'll see how good the uh, scenery is. That is Foxtrot, correct? God, it's difficult to see that. Yeah, that's Foxtrot. So we are.
Echo Delta Charlie, so this one's Echo Delta. Don't want that one. Don't want Delta. So next, not this right, but the next right. Let's just keep the speed down there. Actually, we can uh, take the retractables ones off as well. Let's get rid of the landing lights. That's Delta. Transponder can go off. Ah, this is Charlie. No, is that Delta? No, it's Charlie, it's correct. So, we're told we can have a stand Alpha 3, which is. should be right ahead of us. pretty bright so I don't need to have the let's look at this coming off Charlie we just follow it round slightly to the right and that is Alpha 3 so that can come off now uh, there it is this is Alpha 3 Right here. Happy days. We could go ahead and uh, hopefully come to a nice stop. That was good enough for me. Let's set the parking brake. APU is running. So let's put the gens on. Happy days. Let's turn off the engines. See that signs could go off. Fuel pumps can go off. Uh, pit our teats can go off. Standby power, sorry, APU gen. And standby power. Deers can go off. Yes, I know, thank you. Uh, okay, shutting down the aircraft, is that menu? Yes. Okay, shut down the aircraft, so we want FS actions, I want ground connections, I want wheel chucks, ground power and air conditioning units, it's hot in here. Doors, let's get the cargo doors open first. Happy with that. Ground power's here now, so we can... Uh, come on, ground power, knock off the APU. Knock off the window heats. Knock off the fuel pumps. And the, the two demand standby pumps. Get ready with the battery and ready with the emergency lights. First of all, gotta let the passengers off. Let's go ahead and open the main exit and the airstair. And that is us here. Done. Come on, from the chocks. That is on standby. Everybody's getting off, which is absolutely fantastic. So emergency lights can go off. Logo could go off. Because you could go off. Actually, we are done. So double checking everything there, everything can go off so what we're going to do is uh, disconnect the battery and turn off the ground power lasers dead here we are in a very very bleak looking Caribbean I don't know if you see it on the way in, we've got like a, a fun park over over there which was uh, pretty cool I wonder if I can Can use the mouse. Let's see what I can do. Is it down? Yes. 
the gift. I'm trying, I'm trying. So yeah, okay, so must be a beach activity there and nobody out and about from the airport where it should be. Is the luggage coming off? Yes it is. Okay, well thank you once again for joining us and uh, we look forward to seeing you again very soon for the next Dangerous Approach. <laughs>